Yo, what's going on YouTube? This is Zach, and today I'm going to tell you the top three certifications that will help you get hired in 2018 if you are brand new to IT. Stay tuned. I made a video last year sometime, and I talked about what the top three certifications I think, in my opinion, just my opinion, and I still stand by those. Those certifications are still relevant. The A+, the Security Plus, and the CCNA. Those three certifications, as far as I'm concerned, could still be the top three for 2018. But I will have a, I have a different list here, so really it could be the top six. So I'll still include the A+, the Security Plus, and the CCNA because companies want those things. And some people argue the A plus is dumb, it's stupid, nobody wants it, and yada, yada, yada. There are still companies out there that require an A plus for employment. I know there's a lot of people out there who cry and moan about the A plus and how it's a stupid certification and nobody wants it, no relevant business out there requires it, needs it, thinks anything of it. But unfortunately, I don't know what jobs you guys are looking at because that's just not true. There are a ton of companies out there that still require the a certification just for employment. a certification or equivalent experience or degree. That's part of the application process. So I'm not really sure what you guys are looking at. You know, these are entry level jobs that we're talking about here. So a certification, if you guys don't have experience, you don't have a degree, you get an a it could get your foot in the door. Simple as that. So I still suggest the A plus cert. It's still a great certification to give you a lot of the fundamentals of IT. Security plus, still a great certification as, as far as I'm concerned nowadays, especially with the way that the world is, is working and operating. And of course the CCNA. It's a little bit more advanced as far as the certification goes, but I know a ton of people who have no experience in IT, who know nothing about IT, but decided, hey, I want my CCNA. It sounds cool, and it's Cisco. And they go out and they get their CCNA and it just blows me away, and it's cool. Whatever, they do it, people do it. It happens all the time. They study for it, and they get it. They study for it. That's all it takes is studying. That's all you have to do is study. So anyway, without further ado, without wasting more of your time, we're gonna talk about the top three certifications for 2018 that I think will uh, help you land a job. Uh, so number one, just so I don't upset any more people, we're gonna, we're gonna go with the Network Plus. Yeah, a lot of people think I hate this certification. I don't hate the certification. It's a great certification. There's nothing wrong with the Network Plus. It's fine. I, I just think if you're gonna go into networking, I would get like a CCNA or something, but that's just me. I would just study. I would just study what the fundamentals are. You know, there, there's the CSENT, there's, there's the CCNA. I mean, whatever. But anyway, Network Plus, it is a great certification. It does give you the fundamentals. If you're not looking to get into networking, the Network Plus is still a great certification because understanding networking and how it works, just having that overview of networking, it is important. And people do like it. People like seeing that certification on your resume. It will help you get hired. There's no doubt about that. Number two, I'm combining into kind of two because I don't want to give uh, much credit to either one of them as far as one's better than the other because they're both actually great even though one is actually technically greater than the other. But it's the MTA or MCSA. And it could be any one of the bunch because there are many different MTA or MCSA. Those are Microsoft certifications, by the way. Microsoft certifications. If you're Microsoft certified, you just get in. And not necessarily get in for a job right away, you get in for an interview. Microsoft certifications are huge. Everybody loves them, they see them, they get all excited, they get all happy, they just love that stuff. Uh, and if it's not the IT director or IT interview person that's seeing that, uh, HR kind of sees that stuff and they get excited about it. I've been at a few places where um, they see that and they get excited and then, we see their resume or whatever, and we're like, okay, whatever, we'll interview these guys. And we interview them, and, you know, we're like, well, they just don't fit. And that happens all the time. But MTA, MCSA, great certifications. Any way you look at it, there's, again, there's a ton that fall under the MTA and the MC MCSA. But, yes, Microsoft, Microsoft certifications are fantastic, and they will help you get an interview. It's up to you to actually land the job. 
And to uh, top off this list, to round it out, to just finish it off, because I believe going forward, nowadays, just with security, uh, the way that things are working nowadays, and again, this is more of an entry-level certification, as far as I'm concerned, uh, being that it's a CompTIA cert, and it falls in with uh, the Plus certifications, uh, that's the Linux Plus. Linux Plus, it's a great cert. It's going to give you a lot of the fundamentals of Linux. And if Linux is interesting to you or not, understanding that operating system, understanding the back end of that operating system will greatly help you maybe down the road, maybe right now. But it will help you get into a lot of different places. A lot of different organizations run Linux uh, on their servers. And having some of that knowledge, you'll, you'll be very appreciative of that. So you can actually go through job listings and search just for you know Linux requirements. And you can get paid a little bit more just by having that experience. Because there's not a lot of people out there who have experience with Linux. I don't really know a lot of people who, who know much about Linux. Period. So if you guys are you know, having trouble getting into IT or, you know, trying to think about what, what certifications I should get. I gave you six, even though I said this would be three. There's like six, there's actually seven ish, a lot more, whatever. There's a ton of certifications that will greatly, greatly help you guys get into IT. And these are some of the most basic ones that you can get. And keep in mind when I say basic, I don't mean that you guys can go study for them in like 10 minutes or even sometimes 10 hours and go take them. It might take a lot of time to actually study for this stuff and go and take some of these tests and pass the exam. Some of these tests are really, really hard to pass these certifications. It's just because they're basic and entry level does not mean anything. It doesn't mean a thing. So get it through your head that just because I might say it's entry level and other people might say it's entry level doesn't mean that it's not going to be hard. And other people might say, yeah, it was easy as a piece of cake. These might be people who've been working in IT forever who, or just might understand it differently than you do, you know, and that's okay. Not everybody understands everything the same way. So make sure you guys take the time to study this stuff, go over it very, very thoroughly. If you need help, I strongly, strongly suggest itpro.tv. I talk about these guys all the time. I would not recommend them if I didn't think they were the best in the game. You guys can head over to itpro.tv. I'll put a link in the description. If you guys use the coupon code ITCQ30, you get 30% off your subscription. And they have literally um, courses for every single thing that I talked about today. Every single certification that I talked about today, they have a course on and they will definitely help you pass those certifications. If you watch their material, you study for their material, you study their material, you, you know, do the study guides, it will help. So go check out IT Pro TV and good luck.